feels good to get the gang back together. We're about to declare war on the Legion, and I figure who better to accompany us for that than Boone and Russell, the two people who hate the Legion most out of all my companions. Now, unfortunately, that does mean we need to change our gear around. The Ferguson Rifle, I love it, it's great, it looks great, it sounds amazing, but the Gobi Scout Campaign Rifle is just better. Not because of damage or because of fire rate, where it's both worse, but because it has a scope and it's silenced. And silenced is important because the Legionary Assassins are on their way. We didn't gain back any favor with the Legion when we went to go see Caesar, which means that they're coming for us. And the instant we kill a squad of Legionary Assassins, that's it. Game over, they hate us, we're vilified. And I don't want to go out like that. I want to be dramatic about this. I want to destroy a town, destroy a military base. We are going out in style. And that means we need something that can pop a Legionary Assassin's head off from 300 yards. Now, why is it important to pop them before they see us? Good. That's because before That's they start shooting, be. they're going to send a guy forward who's going to say, Hey, you've been <laughs> marked by death by Kaiser, and the Legion obeys! But if we kill that guy, the other three guys in the squad won't shoot. So, we get away scot-free. Now, we're here in Novak because, hey, I've been hearing stories as I go around and sell things from NCR troopers, talking about how, hey, Nelson was taken over by the Legion, we need to get that back. And I figure, well, hey, here's a nice, handy Legion base that I can just destroy right next to where I parked the van. Doesn't that work out very nicely for everyone involved? I will admit to being a little bit jumpy around here because I remember in the past we've been walking through here and there have been legionary assassins that jumped out of that crevice over there and just walked around and tried to kill us. We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. No, no, that's not a problem. That's very much the game plan. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. With that said, maybe you guys ought to hang back. I'll sit tight. Fine. See, we're doing this stealthy lag. I'm gonna go in there with a nice, silent sniper rifle. We're gonna shoot everyone in the head before they realize we're there. And that way we don't incur any Legion reputation loss. This area is locked down by the NCR military until we can dislodge some Legion snakes from Nelson. They jumped the camp in Nelson while the troopers were setting up. Captured a bunch of gear and took to town. Couple of troopers, too. Got them crucified down near the center of town. All right, what are we doing to help? Oh, heck. I've heard of you. Supposed to be a regular hero or something, ain't that right? But maybe you're a little too reputable to get involved in some dirty work for the Republic. I'm not quite sure how to take that. It's like, oh, I'm too good for you? Come on, let's get some done. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Looks like you've got some dirt in you after all. If you had a few dozen doses of Psycho on you, maybe we could pep those weepy troopers into charging down into Nelson and taking back the camp. But since that's not likely, you could help me take out the Legion's trooper hostages. Well, now that you mention it, I do actually have 24 doses of Psycho on me. Figure market rate is 20 caps each, plus, the, you know, I gotta charge more money for bringing it all the way out here. Call it 40 each, brings it up to 800, because, but because I like you, I'll only charge you 750 caps for it. All right. I have to admit I wasn't expecting you to say that. I was just joking, but if it makes you feel any better, I'm impressed. You do have troops here, right? Why aren't you just telling them to go in? I'm a ranger. They're troopers. Different branches. I don't have authority over them, even though they're as green as a super mutant's backside. Besides, they'd probably start crying as soon as they saw the hostages get so much as a bruise. Nope, they don't got the stomach for it. And so you're telling me to shoot them? The troopers won't go down into camp with their comrades at risk. Dirty game, the Legion likes to roll out whenever they get a chance. Problem is, Ranger Milo doesn't want to play. If we take out the hostages, they've got squat for leverage. Okay, but why not just rescue them? Back at Ranger School, they taught us not to run headlong into a battle when you're outnumbered 10 to 1. You want to go down there and try to haul those crippled boys off those poles? You're dumber than you look. Tell you what... You stay back here. I don't want you getting in my way. I have a sniper rifle and I'm ready to use it, all right? Hey, hold on. Just so you know, if you go down into that camp, one of two things is going to happen. 
Either that little head of yours is gonna sail into the Colorado courtesy of a Legion machete, or they're gonna try to make friends with you. And if I find out you're friends with the Legion, I'll put a lump of lead through your skull as soon as you pop it back up over the ridge. Are we clear? We are very well clear, but <laughs> don't worry, that's not going to happen. That is not in the cards for today. Much obliged. Now, what is understood is that we need to get a nice high ground overlooking the camp. That way, we can have a nice good line of sight to every soldier there. Yep, I see some heads over there. Let's quickly click on those. You go down, and since we're not relying on sneak attack criticals, let's get the JSP ammo in there. Oh, I see he had a friend. You also get a nice bullet in the head. Is there a third one? Want to try for three? Yep, number three, right over there. There you go. And now we have a nice, good sight line goes straight down into the camp. And let's pick up that frag mine before we blow up, all right? Let's see. Who can we spot from here? I see at least one guy over there. Shoot him in the butt. He goes down. There's somebody down there. You can go down, and your little dog, too. There's a tower over there. Yup. There's one head goes down. And you can go down too. Who else is left? I see movement down there. You go down. And I saw a flash of red there. Boone's perk makes this really easy. Because you just look for the red. You hit the red. The red goes away. Problem solved. There we go. Is there anybody left over before I jump down there? No, not that I see. So let's not jump down there. Let's very carefully get back over the fence here and get back to town the safe way. Mercy killing's a last resort. I'm glad you recognized we had options. Yeah, no problem, Boot. It's like, I'm not going to just go down here and murder someone in cold blood that's like that's just i don't think i could do that man it's like even to spare them a, a life of trauma it's just like or i mean maybe for a crucified soldier is like if if they're gonna die anyway if they're gonna be crippled the rest of their life anyway but i don't think that the soldier would quite see it that way i think they're gonna see it in terms of i would like to live and get out of here please speaking of getting out of here let's quickly loot everything and then get then get gone all right at great personal risk and expense, I have single-handedly liberated the town of Novak while also saving the lives of your troopers. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. Guess that makes me the sap and you the hero. I'm not authorized to pay for contract work, but here's something for the effort, and I'll make sure everyone hears about what you did. Thanks. All right, what do we get for that? We get NCR fame, a bit of Caesar's Legion infamy, and... 50 bottle caps. We won't 50 go bottle caps. Are you we sure you didn't leave off a few zeros on the end of there? You know, 500? 5,000, maybe? Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Who said that? Who said that? Step forward. Hello. I've got my eye on you. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. It's like, well, well I, I get where you're coming from. It's hot as heck, but still. All right, where's the assassin? Pop up over the hill, I dare ya. I'm in a bad mood and I'm ready to take it out on somebody. No? Smart man. Now that's a good start to the day. However, we're not vilified by the Legion yet, so I figure there's some more work we can do. What was the name of the guy down in Searchlight? First Sergeant Aster, or Sergeant First Class Aster, or whatever his name is? Yeah, we have a situation with Cottonwood Cove. Let's go talk to that guy, see how we can help him. Unfortunately, it looks like the van does not have a destination program for Searchlight. Which makes sense. 
Well, no, no, it doesn't. This thing should have... It, it's a major town, or at least it was until two weeks ago. So it looks like the closest we might be able to get is Cottonwood Cove, which is risky as all get out. I don't know where this thing will spit us out, but... Uh, <laughs> well, you only live once, right? All right, everyone. Stealth nanobots on. Let's see where we're out and get ready to shoot in case there's any legionaries here, all right? We're near a legion slave camp now. I've been here before. Let's get one thing straight. I see any crimson, I'm taking the shot. You don't like that, you're on your own. No, no, that's all right. Just uh, hold off a little bit, right? See the crimson and maybe wait for me to take the shot myself, all right? Yes, let me join in the fun before you join the fun, because I have the silent sniper rifle. I can kill the camp without them noticing. I don't think I'd hold it against you. Good, good. Unless you see me shooting, don't you shoot either, all right? And the same goes for you, Russell. I know you don't like the Legion. You guys just, uh, I'll wait here. Fine. Actually, tell you what, come with. I've got you back. We're going up the hill. We're going to go talk to Sergeant Astor, and then we're going to find out what he wants us to do, all right? I need to program my van to drive to park closer to searchlight because it is way too long a hike on foot. There's just nothing close to here. It's like Nipton, Novak, and Searchlight. They're all like three miles away from this place. There is a cave over there. Hello. What exactly are you? I know I'm getting distracted, but it's like it's it's night. We're not gonna be able to do this tonight anyway, so. Searchlight North Gold Mine, you say? Is it even worth exploring this? Y you know there's not going to be any gold here. We're next to Searchlight, so... Yep. Ghouls. We are in close quarters with ghouls. This is a bad idea. We should be using the sniper rifle. Which one's the sniper rifle? Trooper ghouls inside the gold mine. Which begs the question, were the troopers mining for gold, or were they guarding the miners? And if they were guarding the miners, where are the miners? And for that matter, where's the good stuff? Because I see some mushrooms, some pickaxes, a single 308 bullet. Oh wow, that makes up for the six, you know, high quality handcrafted bullets we spent to get in here. Okay, we are now in bullet loss. We're losing money on this trip. We found one mushroom, and that is it. <sighs> is it worth even First going down go. the other thing? Please. You got a problem with First Recon? No, no, no. Seriously, is there is there an issue between you and Boone that I should know about? Because. I'll be real, I, I like the beret too. It's really nice for my crit chance. Feel like we're, we, we, I match with Boone, we look good. Granted, I like, I like this hat better, but. Ah, here we go. Oh wow, look at that. A single star bottle cap and some sugar bombs. Watch where you're going. What's up with you, Russell? It's like, are you all right? You seem kind of tense. All right, where are you at? I'm actually kind of impressed I made that. Just found the head, clicked on the head, problem solved. Hello, who exactly are you? A dead prospector with the key to the door north of here and the desert recon armor. Is that any good, I wonder? Well, survival five, endurance, and sneak are all nice, but the real question, how does it look? Like I'm wearing white pajamas. No, I don't think we can wear this. No, sir. And there is nothing else here. What a waste of bullets. An outfit we won't wear, two, two mushrooms, and some dynamite. Yeah. Note to self, gold mining is apparently bad business. It, it doesn't give you anything. You're back. What can I do for you? You probably know this. The Legion are in Cottonwood Cove. You, you did know that, right? The Rangers at Echo have been keeping an eye on that place. It's relatively new, but those bastards have already dug in. 
They appear to be running a slave trading operation, and it also seems to be one of the primary crossing points for Legion raiding parties. Okay, so that means there's two things that need to happen. We need to destroy the camp, and we need to make sure that we get all the slaves out first. If you could scout out the camp, bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids, the rangers could put that information to good use. Also, if you're any good at covert ops, I would love to get a bug planted on their radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. Yeah, I think we can do that for you. Good to hear. This is the bug you'll need for the radio. Report back if you pick up any intel, or manage to sneak the bug into their radio. Alright, and we get the quest Eye for an Eye. Now, I'll be honest, if I were him, I would not say, Oh, hey, the Legion destroyed our town with a radiation bomb. Could you bug their radio? I would be going in terms of, oh, hey, could you wipe these people off the face of the map? There we go. Bright new morning. We've got food and water in us. I've left Boone and Russell all the way up there so they don't get shot or start shooting. Let's see about rescuing some slaves and planting a bug, shall we? Please, sir, take pity on us. Free us, please. You're being very open when you're talking to someone in a Legion camp. How were you guys captured, will ya? My family was ambushed by a pack of Legion raiders near Searchlight, and Frank ran off, the gutless coward. I have no idea where he is, but at least we're free from his abuse. Was he hurting you? You say he was abusing you? Ever since he lost his job a few years back, he hasn't been the same. He took a switch to us for the tiniest things. We were trying to get away when the Legion showed up. I'm glad he ran off like a coward. But slavery wasn't the kind of escape I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'll see what I can do, alright? Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright then, who's in charge of the slaves? Is that you or the other guy? Awe, have you come to sell or trade for captures? You mean slaves, right? That's, that's what captures mean, the slaves. No, no, no. They haven't yet earned the right to be called slaves. Those three in the pen are captures, nothing more. I'm a slave master, so I know what I'm talking about. Back at the fort, I'd have those three half-broken and well on their way. But this is just a holding area, so all I do is assess their fitness and decide whether to send them on. I, I'm, I'm gonna regret asking this, but it doesn't bother you at all, enslaving people? Why would it bother me to enslave these wretches? They have no purpose, no creed, no honor. They live in pitiful squalor, undisciplined, intemperate. To enslave them is to save them, to give them purpose and virtue. Honestas industria prudentia. Even the virtues of slaves are beyond the desolute on this side of the river. You really think nobody else is honesty, industry, or prudence? Just because they don't... Ugh, what, why am I bothering? I know the answer to this. How much for him? It's a weak bunch, to be honest. I'd rather have extra currency to buy supplies or better captures off traders. There's a boy, too old to be trained as a legionary. Normally they would have to die, but he's too frail to make trouble. The old woman's dried up, but she could keep house or do gardening if she can learn to keep her mouth shut. The girl's the only one of real value, young enough to breed, not hideous to look at. What's your offer for the lot? Oh, boy, holy crap, that is a lot to take in. It's like... Oh, yeah, the woman can be good if she'll only shut up. The boy is too weak to be a threat, so we're not going to kill him. But you can have the girl because, hey, you can you can make her a breeder. Ugh. I don't suppose you believe she has vagina dentata? I think my Latin is better than yours. I inspect all the captives myself, and there was no dentata. Oh. Oh, my gosh, I hate you even more. 300 caps, take it or leave it. A fair price. Always best to have caps on hand in case traders stop by. Here's the key to their collars. You want to take those off before you've gone far, trust me. Alrighty then. Come here. I got I got some keys for you. I don't think we'll ever be able to repay you, but we'll do our best one day, once I found a place to settle. Yeah, believe me, I can understand Hello. why you guys would... Um, yeah, slavery. Fun. There you go. Yeah, especially you. Low girl, you have no idea how valuable you you were, apparently. Alright, let's see about planting a radio, I guess. Die. Ah, here, here we are. I don't see anyone around, but still, better safe than sorry. Stealth man was on. Plant the bug. 
And let's quickly loot the room, make sure we're taking everything else valuable, all right? Ooh, like these raid plans. I'm glad I decided to loot, because otherwise I would have missed those. You have the look of oh, someone who's in charge. Kaisar. True to Kaisar, yeah. Who are you? Kaisar may have deemed you worthy to bear his mark, but your reputation precedes you. Your presence will be tolerated, but you are not welcome here. Lucullus awaits you on the docks. And that's just about it. If we're not passing through here, if we have negative reputation, we can do nothing with him. But he does have some rather fancy armor, and you know, I think the house could use some trophies, so... There you go. He goes down. Let's take your crap. And Legion Patrol knows there we... And Recompense of the Fallen. I didn't know that was in here. I thought that was only a crafted weapon. Yeah, you talk to the guy up in the cave in the northeast. And he gives you the recipe for these things, which is basically a fist weapon that you make out of dog tags. Well, I won't say no, because dog tags are too valuable to throw away, really. Let's uh, quickly steal everything else, and let's get out of here. And now the question is... Will the entire camp be hostile because I shot him in the head? Well, nobody's shouting and trying to kill me, so that's good. Let's quickly run back to Sergeant Astor, deliver this bug, and let him know the good news. See what else he wants done. I did exactly what you wanted. There's a bug on the radio, and I got some intel for you. Well, this is more than I could have hoped for. Almost seems too good to be true, but the details are all here. Looks like they're planning to strike some of the southern caravans. I'll notify the rangers and patrols in that area immediately. Here's some caps for your trouble. You've done us a great service. Again, only 150 bottle caps. It's like, I saved a town and I got 50 caps, and then I just wandered into a camp that wasn't shooting me, and I got three times that? I mean, I'm not going to complain, but I still think there should be an extra zero on the end there. All right, what else do you need done? Well, unless you want to go in there and clean out that camp for me. I guess this should be more than enough for now. I mean, yeah, that that was actually the plan. What? Really? You're mad, but I like it. According to the notes you gave me, all the southern raiding parties come from that camp. Caesar regularly sends fresh squads to relieve patrols. Killing their centurion and leadership would be a start. But finding a way to permanently shut down that dock is what we really need. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Report back when the camp is clear. I'll try and shuffle some men in that direction once the Legion's gone. All right, see that you do that, because, like he says, the reason the Legion were able to take Cotwood Cove so easily, let's get out of the radiation, is because they abandoned Searchlight, and with no defense here, they've had free reign to just do whatever the heck they want. Not that I expect Sergeant Astor to be able to do anything about that, because, hey, he's not high enough at the command structure to actually do anything. But it's nice to think that if I... If I do something to wipe out the town, and not just that, but to prevent it from being occupied again, then they should be able to cut off access across the Colorado here. The question is, how do we do that? Because, yeah, we've killed one of their leaders, so we can kill Canyon Runner. I really want to kill Canyon Runner. And we can kill Deconis Severus, or whatever his name is. We can kill all the troopers, but if they just send more troops, none of that matters. First things first, I think. Let's go grab some C4 out of the van, and let's pat Canyon Runner on the back, alright? He's been doing such a good job, you know, enslaving people and training them and bringing them back to the fort to, so, so he can break him. He deserves a reward for his efforts, you know? There you go, good man. Enjoy the present. It's just for you, you know? I'll be over here a long way away, all right? Let's see, you have something powerful. You have a revolver, and now you have some C4, too. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be on my way whistling. And I see something that gives me an idea up there. Yep, you hear that? You hear that tick tick tickety? I see a whole bunch of radiation barrels, you don't say! 
why a spill of this magnitude would be able to just shut down this crossing entirely and no one would be able to come in here without a, without a rad suit or something like that. Why, that would be just awful, don't you know that? And it'd be, you know, an ironic punishment for having set up a radiation bomb on Searchlight. Wow, that'd be terrible. And I don't know what the range on this, on this detonator is, but let's find out, shall we? <laughs> okay, that works. Killed all the legionaries in Cottonwood Cove. Well, I see some of them that are still wandering around, so we might need to do some cleanup work. You know, away from the truck that's currently trying to irradiate us as well. But we have a silent sniper rifle. It shouldn't be an, shouldn't be an issue. Ah, darn! I should have planted some some C4 on them. That way, when they they all gather together, I could just go and make them go pop as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know that Cursor Lucullus just puts on a rad suit. You know, like a boss. <laughs> Alright, clean up work it is. Everyone in the camp is dead. What? How did you pull it off? A uh, really sloppy disposal of nuclear waste. That's exactly what we needed to put a cork in that camp. The Legion won't be moving through there anytime soon. Fitting that the camp was taken care of in a way similar to Searchlight. Thank you for taking care of that place for us. You are absolutely welcome. Goodbye. Sir. And with that, we're level 34, I believe. Yep, just like that. So we have 15 skill points to play with. We could knock medicine up to 100, and I think we will, just because it's like... Yeah, I could do that with skill books, but I don't want to. I don't want to wait for that. Let's just get it up as quickly as possible. That lets us knock sneak up to 72. Not quite a not quite a round number. I'd like that, but oh well. And what perks open up level 34? I remember we had our eyes on Mojave Investor because that's more money for us. Steal behind suit. We can turn pre-war suits or gambler suits into power armor, which is very useful because last episode we picked up a power armor training manual, but we didn't have any power armor in the van or in the Good Springs house. We just don't have any. We haven't picked any up. So if I can turn something light into power armor, that would be very useful. Professional courier, just move faster while carrying a lot of crap, and I do that a lot. Grunt, which doesn't seem like a lot. You just do more damage with army weapons. The important thing is that includes both battle rifles and service rifles, which means the survivalist rifle as well as this machine, and stay back. We can knock enemies down with shotguns, which is very useful for us because when we're using a shotgun, we are mainly doing it because something got too close to us for us to use energy weapons because we'll blow up too. Light step, virtually a requirement for the Dead Money DLC. Spotting part two. When Boone is one of your companions, you and your companions can negate the damage threshold of a spotted target. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that means that suddenly Everything, when you're aiming, has no armor. Wow. Nerves of Steel, you get more action points back more quickly, which is just one of those boring but essential perks. Or, and I think this is the one we're going to go with, Cancerous Growth. You have mutated so badly that you gain health over time and even regenerate broken limbs. Now that doesn't sound too special. Except when you realize that limbs are either broken or not broken. And even one point of health and limb is enough for it to be not broken, which means that if I take this perk, I will never have a broken limb again. They will get broken and then instantly heal themselves, and they're not broken anymore. And it works fast. If we take a look at my stats right now, you can see I got three limbs that are all, you know, maybe 80% health. <clears throat> and that has been a constant plague on this playthrough, is limbs that have broken. I have kept myself with a pile of healing pulses and doctor's bags just because it will just my limbs break like they're tissue paper however i guarantee you that by the time we get back to the van yep not even halfway there and they're already full health and my health is coming back it's just a great perk all around with one perk i have removed one of the weaknesses i've had since the beginning of the game which, 
may or may not be a good thing because I do tend to like characters that have flaws and weaknesses and trust me, that has been a major flaw for this playthrough. So we might go back and change things around later on, you know, take a different perk if we decide this is too powerful, but uh, <laughs> it is a very powerful perk. And you know what? That's a good start. But if you look at our reputation with the Legion, we're still only shunned. We've been very good about not being noticed while we kill the Legion. So I think that next time, we're going to do something even worse. And Boone, I think you and I need to have a talk.